Hello everyone. This is me Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorial. Happy Friday. We're so excited to be back tonight to do another four different designs. And Okay, I'll make sure that is not going to fit. Hold on. Great. Hey, I see Jane Nails. Jessica, how are you? Hey Henry, how are you? Hey, fancy finger. Iris, how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Just give me a one second. I'll send in a quick to everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope everyone have a great Friday. Got so many is um, fun designs we're gonna share with you tonight. And thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so this is the nails that last night we did, and then we using um, four different shape, which is perfect heart. And we did is perfect pairs, media luna, and polished rice. So if you missed my live video last night, I think you can able to view it again on Facebook as well as on YouTube will be uploaded later. So tonight's gonna do a totally a different look. And hey Sarah, how are you? Hey Nuna, how are you? Hey Mick, how are you? So this nails is all stunning that we did with like a new sticker of bumblebees and then it was a lot of requests asking for peacock tails. I think we did it a long time ago and then Sarah did it again and everybody was asking for it. So we did that look and each of them we did feature one shape. So this is a great, really simple, easy, quick for all the beginners or nail tech who is like even the first time. Uh, uh, doing a crystal placement or it's never done a crystal placement or have a little bit troubleshootings with uh, crystal placement this is really easy to achieve it like with just little simple placements so we're gonna do continue doing it again I don't know whatever you can call it back to basics but we can um, combine a lot of different other techniques like this one we did fusioning with this one we did the diamond dust pixie with crystal and then this one we did the chant before with crystal placement also chant for voice frames and crystal placement so it's really easy that if you are uh, you know like uh, trying to play with one or two nails i think you can really easy to achieve this look or even better you know it's like can't wait to see your um creation so let's move on to today we get a couple of um i wrote it down for some of other requests and if it's some of the requests you just recently sent we didn't get it but then we're gonna do it like probably live tomorrow Saturday I still see you so today we're gonna do is the bling out completely the nails I didn't put any colors on it as some um, like rest request for this so then she want to see the crystal placements so if you are here this is for you let me see if you are here like rest. so just in case that you are here so this is for you if someone know uh, Live Ras uh, account, can you share with her so then she can see uh, what we're gonna do today? Okay, so this is once, and if your dentist clients have a clear nails, either you're doing, um, I would assume if you're doing a gel polish, you are not gonna do anything, but then make sure you put the base gels on first, then you keep for 15 seconds, and then you are going to do. Um, the condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat. So I am going to apply the condensed glue gel. Unless I have the uh, no wipe top coat, but I'm gonna put condensed glue gels. I'm gonna go right in. Uh, no, I need the base, but it's totally fine. But if you're doing a, especially if you're doing a dipping powder, you definitely gonna need it um, a base coat and care for 15 seconds before you do anything else. So I am going to apply the condensed wool gel. Let me show it to you. It looks, it's really thick density. 
And if you are first time doing a crystal placement, it's gonna be a really good best friends for you for crystal placements. And um, I have on mine and I work a lot and it's still there. So I am going to, there's so many different ways in um, his life, I just wanna see it completely clear. So if you want to do, for instance, I would suggest like this, if you want to do the colors, uh, close the lid. If you want to do, for instance, if you want the clients have the theme, like for instance, if they're doing a silver nails or white nails, usually with crystal placement, if you do a AB, I was like do some uh, silver underneath. And if you want to bring more um, reflections underneath, so you can do silver underneath, and then you put the crystal AB. But if you're doing a red colors, hello Tony from Facebook, if you're doing a red colors of crystal, you can using one red colors, whatever colors that you prefer, and place them underneath first. So then it gave more reflections underneath. But also it's really stunning that if you don't do anything like this, just clear. And now I'm gonna using a no wipe top coat. I'm gonna follow with three step methods. This will keep my crystal stay nice in one place. Give me one second. Oh, light press here. Okay. Hey, ladies, thank you so much, Kellyns. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will answer all the questions in a little bit. I am going to apply uh, one coat of no wipe top coat, and I haven't cured the condensed glue gel yet. This is the nails for you, light press, and I'm excited for like the next three nails as well. I'm so excited, ladies. Hope y'all have a great Friday. Stay home, stay safe, and stay positive. So here is a four different shape. For instance, if the client's like, you know, this is the nails for life, I said, the clients were asking, I want to bling out completely my nails. I don't want any colors at all. And it doesn't matter what shape you would choose. So you can also doing this with like, 3d but if you're doing a 3d which is cluster s is called or s you know you see you calling as the cluster or pointed back or cluster or 3d however the clients or you calling it so if you do that you want to make sure you do the 3d first and then you're going to do all the flat back later so let do do you want to see one shape or do you want to see all variety of four shape i'm going to put it together So we can do either way. If the clients want to do it for shape, which one is shape that at first, did you go by order? Yeah. One, two, three, okay. Well, good. It's okay. So, and then I am going to have my, um, always crystal AB with me. So then, oops, can you get that? Top. Sorry, everyone. I dropped whole entire top. Right there, it's over there too. It's happened all the time with me. I think you are so used to that. I'm gonna chew is um, what is it called now? I'm gonna get the list out for you. Uh, also, then I remember and I forgot this shape. Ninja star. Ninja star. Okay, gotcha. And you can place however you good like. I'm gonna do one shape for you, like that's right there. You can either you can place them like make sure they you place them close and tight and you can adjust in just a little bit okay and now i am going to using a lot of little okay i'm gonna need another tray no way i got it there you go so I can see it better because under the lights is so bright for me. 
and I couldn't see it. With this bling completely the nails, you see I need the bigger one and smaller one. And uh, keep in mind, you don't want to do too much like a bigger size on the edges, like all surround the frame of the nails. Because first, it's gonna make the nail look so bulky. Second, it's gonna really like it hang off in there and make the nails is not bound and it looks really unbalanced. So I would go with the bigger size in size and then the smaller size and on the edges. And also, if the client's like requesting, like, I just want the smaller size of the crystal, can you bling them all out? Yes. But if the smaller ones will not like sparkle like a little one, so just advice for your clients that they can do that as well. So I am using size SS20 on that side right now. And then on this down, if you go toward, like it depends, okay? So like the, if the client is doing square shape, then basically it's pretty much as easy to balance, but the client is doing um, almond shape or stiletto shape. Do you want to is, you know, is gradual the bigger size to the smaller size? Um, it's running a little bit right here, but I'm not worried because I'm gonna catching right there it's, it's usually different because I am doing it far away from the nails I'm gonna try to look straight down here so you all can see me doing it instead of me tilting it down down I'm using side SS12 right now You can see that I place them really tight together. What minutes are you taking away? No, so you can see better. Uh, Too then, busy at the bottom. And now it just. That's why you can see it a little bit more. And okay. these haven't played with yet to take them out. Do not take it away from us. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get it back. There you go. Glad you can see it like that. And because you're doing it the whole nails, you know, I promise that you're doing with the clients is so much better because you see it closer. Um, I usually do this and I'm adjusting it as well at the same time. Now I'm going inside SS12. Here is the special nail for you, Libras. And for any of you that will wanted to see the look, okay, that's when it stay in the top of that. Knock it out. Oh, I really like it. So next time we're doing a different look of the nails as well. There you go. So I'm gonna do, now we're gonna go into the smaller side. Can Facebook and Instagram see me? They can see you. Yeah, okay, good. Say something, okay? If you... I try to make it not too busy at the bottom. It's too, too, see, too sparkle. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I move it right here. How about that? There you go. That's perfect. Okay, can everybody see better now? Oh, yeah. Much better? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, everyone. I have to leave the tray it's just like this but I'll put it right on my, my down here so then you all can see it yeah okay 
So going to turn in my instead of my wax size uh, pickers, I'm gonna using precision size right there, so then I can adjusting it without touch, touching uh, glue gels. I'm gonna start using a lot of little size right now to place them in. We go into size SS8. So. I'm so excited. So as you see, I'm gonna start place and fill in all that little space left with the smaller crystals. So that's way it gonna looks feel completely. We go in smaller size. You know, same thing if you don't have the really special shape, you can do completely bling this nails out with the AB. I have some clients who love blings it out with the AB only. So I do that for her as well. But sometimes she's want to be blinged out with the special shape. So it just depends on what clients feeling on that day or they are on browsing on, uh, what is that, In, uh, Pinterest or Instagram. Then they're gonna give you this, the list of the, what they want or the look of it. They might want full nails with the colors. You see that I'm using this, moving my crystal without touching it that way. So now, I'm doing just tiny little ones. This one I'm using is the SS5. And SS3, I think it's good. Didn't want to be, there you go. I'm gonna do it finish on the top of the kitty goes right there. This is so beautiful. And I am going to use it on the kitty goes. This one is fun. I can wear this. Absolutely. You see that how I place them really close together? And the little guys that go a long way because these guys will have few in any edges, like any little spot you want oh it looks so sparkle I have to really okay so now if you're happy with this you're gonna make sure you're adjusting them make sure they don't go anywhere before you key them to make sure they are looks nice not crooked and you can see the all over and tie the nail see if you need to adjust move add more or you know like remove some will make it, the nails bulky so if you're happy with this and you're gonna place this under the LED light, lights for about 60 seconds that is so bling one okay now I pull it off then I can see that is one or two spots I need to fill in but whatever you do using a little ones which is SS three or SS4 um, I don't want to do it too bigger too much bigger because then it might be too bulky and hanging off on the side 
really happy with this. This doesn't have any base underneath. Just clear nails. I really like that though. To me, I think it looks so stunning. It doesn't have any base on it. It looks good though. Light brass is good choice. But then if the clients want like a bling more, you can put silver or you can put whatever. But then that's clear nails. It's really trendy. I know it's been trendy for a long time. You see? We're done with this. And this is um, uh, Crystal Ninja, Ninja Star. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going... I love my bling nails. Yes, that is for your bling nails. Hey, Brad, how are you? Hi, Lily. Hey, Karen. Hey, Foxy. Whitney, wanna say hello? Fancy fingers, thank you so much, ladies. Thanks so much for the love and support. Hey, Theresa, how are you? Great, okay. So now, usually normally you are done, but then is some time it might get all the catching on the hair or clothes. So I can't, you know, I don't know how I'm doing it, but now since I'm doing a crystal placement for the past like over two years, it's really been really, really um, uh, pleasing and happy for me because the client's so much happier when we place a crystal on, or no longer worry, you know, afraid of they're gonna catching anything at all. So now I'm gonna check. Okay, and I'm gonna check around and doing some little exam. And you feel scratchy right there or anywhere, make sure you squeeze in. And then this one is I have to really extremely be careful because it's nothing but crystal. So we wanna make sure we're gonna squeeze exactly where we want it we don't want to be overflowed um the crystal i'm sorry i might tilt the nails though you might not see it straight but hold on let me and usually each time i squeeze just a little bit but i'm not squeezing it until i feel the scratchy spots like i'm gonna do some exam and make sure that i feel it in uh, when i feel scratches and i'm gonna squeeze the uh, precision glues then it's gonna feel right into the cracks gaps in the edges of the crystal in between them and it feel in for me and it blended out um, automatically so then I don't have to worry about and you don't need to squeeze a lot just a little go a long way because I don't want it to flood it all the tiny little crystal that's how it makes this the nail shy the most and just make sure this and if you want to be really, really uh, details, like me, I'm so OCD, and I make sure I'm blending this so it won't look lumpy at all. Even though it's clear nails, but we can still see it. Great. And if you're doing this for the customer, um, even though I know it's a clear nails, I always make sure I coat underneath well this is like the nails you see you're doing half of it underneath so then that way it make it even look sparkle still some wax residue but I'm not worried about it after like here I'm gonna wipe it off with the alcohol so you keep it for 60 seconds and that's it this nails is beautiful done So it doesn't matter what shape you're using for the um, completely blinked out nails, as long as you place them really close together, it makes it look so much balanced and it bling out nicely without look cluttery. So even like if you're doing, for instance, if you're doing this nails with this shape, I mean that perfect drop, you can place them like that or you can place them I don't know how big the client's nails is. It might be too big for this. I would do like that three, you know, if they want if they want to get the special shape. So, and okay, so here's the thing. So when you are consult with the clients, here is some uh, tip and trick I would like to share. 
So if the clients were asking like, okay, uh, Nancy, I would like to get a lot of different shape on it. So you're gonna consult with the clients if the price for the special shape is gonna be different from price for bling out like AB. So like if AB, you completely, the shape is round AB, is it gonna, price gonna be different. Like for instance, if you bling out nails with all the shape, it's gonna be $30 or $25, however it's your some long location chalks. But then with this one, it's gonna be that you still bling out, but bring your nails uh, a price down like probably $20 instead of 30 because the different, the similar is bling out all together, but the different is the shape. And then you pay extra more for your supplies for the shapes. Um, also that, you know, if you're doing the special shape, it's taking you a little bit more skill and detail to do that. So then, yes, it take you a little bit longer times and it take you um, more for your supplies. So you want to make sure you explain to clients so then they can have the option of choosing a basic AB or, uh, I mean, the regular shape of AB or they can do... Great. All they can do is um, special shape. So then if you share with the clients, you consult with them, they will totally will understand it. So then they're going to decide, okay, I want just one shape instead of like four or five shape in one nails, you know. And I say, oh, I want one shape, at least one special shape, and then the rest can be A, B, uh, Rao. And they say, okay. But if they want, this one that's shiny already underneath, it looks so sunny. So it's really good because the clients it can see the nails underneath, they love the look like this. Okay, let's do all next three nails in this bling and we'll call it good for tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. I would do it. Maybe if you want to, we can do it every night. So we do one nails bling towel. And then we can do the rest with these eyes. It's a bit cool. The clients would come in and say, okay, I want nothing but bling completely nails. I said, sure. Let's do it. It looks it looks really easy, but it's um simple, easy, but it's just like some of tip and tricks if you um just like um how do I say a little bit more details and I think you will achieve the crystal placement. And then also here is um because it's clear so you see a lot of like mistakes. So make sure you optimize enough condensed glue gels. Blend it out so you, when you get the our condensed glue gel, make sure you just get a, a smaller amount and then blend it out nicely. You don't have to worry about oh my god, it's so thick. So then, if you see a thick con, uh, density, which is that the purpose of it to keep all the crystals stay nice in nice place, and um, don't hesitate to blend it out and then floating the top coat just good amount. You don't want to do too much because and that if it's too much and you're gonna flood it all the tiny little crystals and your crystal gonna start running all over places and then it's gonna make you feel really frustrated so just give it a couple of time of practice and you will get the really nice look let's move on to the next one do we have another clear one chant before just kidding um, okay so are you ready for the I have four nails right here Okay, so I'm gonna do is really stunning. I'm gonna do this nails with um, Virgin Mary. This is for Jessica. Are you here, Jessica? And um, and I'm gonna do it on the frame, and it make like have a, a frames on that the neck leg or it doesn't matter. It can be a center. It looks cool, and you can do it with any different shape. Okay. Okay, I think. Thank you, I, I, I. Hey, that's your dishes. Hi, Jennifer. How are you, sweetie? This we can use this one, and then we can put her. This pictures, Virgin Mary, or we can do this. Oh, this one looks really good. I do like that a lot. Or she looks on the left side, or the right side. Which one should we do? Okay, let's place it together, everyone. Uh, I am gonna place this one uh, using condensed glue gels. I love this freaking condensed glue gel. Why my condensed glue gel? I'm sorry, just put it away um, because I drop it. I'm so clumsy. Okay, and my hands really slippery with the gig boy. I'm gonna place them right here 
just a little smaller amount because I just want to um, bond this frame on this. So I'm gonna just do it right in the center. I don't need a nails, whole nails yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole nails, but I'm gonna do this one first and I'm gonna show you some cool thing I will share with you. Choose this bonnet. Cause I'm gonna put more condensed wool gels on it. Okay, maybe it should be good enough. Just look at how con how like thick density is. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move this guys away. So I just wanna share with you. So now I'm gonna place this guys right there. I'm not done yet, so that's why I didn't put a top coat on. Just place it right in the center, or however you would like. You can do it on the top right there. You can do it right in the middle. I'm gonna do it here for about 30 seconds, flash gear. So then I can't be secure that frames in that place. It looks so bright though. It looks so bright. So probably because it's, hold on. Uh, Okay, I don't want the nail to be, the frame I want to be in the center. You um, can do on the top. Hmm? 30 seconds, please. Thank you. And you would need one of the little tweezers right there. And then I'm gonna using condensed wool gels again. Yes, they are on the website. The frame is available now for everyone. There are so many different. I can't wait until playing all different ones. There are four different shapes. The heart, the um, uh, perfect drop, I think. Okay. Now I am going to using... more and usually if you want you don't want to put any pictures on the stickers or whatever you don't want to you can place a foil the beads and however you want to place them on it looks so stunning though I just feel that in just leads Hmm, looks good. I just want to make sure that I can get it balanced. Just feel it in. No, that's that's hold on one second. It's stunning though. If you if you don't do any sticker on it, you can put beads on or four way flake or anything. Sarah did some really cool stunning designs as well. She did awesome. Great. So I'm gonna cure for uh 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Just because I feel the frame on. Okay. Yeah, to make sure it clear because then it make. And then now, after that, then we're gonna place the sticker you want. This process, when you do for the clients, or when you're doing it, um, any any designs like this, it doesn't take that much long. I just show you step by step, so then you can place with it. But if you have some other ways that you're doing it, stunning is um, share with us. We would love to. Uh, also to learn as well <coughs> oh Sarah just yes my phone too I have to completely I have to delete a lot of like video video take a lot of space Sarah uh, oh thank you so much Tef thanks so much and um I have to delete a lot Sarah every day when I trying to have upload thing in and then I have to delete it or I have to like load on YouTube before you can do it again or the otherwise it would not let me 
do anything else. So, and I have to upload it and then I have to delete it uh, on the phone so then it have the capacity and then picture it will take to. You know what is the take the most to? Is texting. If you go into your, is texting, it's had a lot of, it take a lot of your space, huh? Texting with the big pictures. So I have to go into the uh, setting and then I have to get the um, all the uh, the picture deleted. If some picture important from my kid's school, the teacher texts and I'll keep that. But if not, then I delete it or I save it, send it to my Facebook, and I delete it on the phone. Should we do this image right here, or should we do Virgin Mary in this? This one look good. You can do anything like, and they can do a frame. Um, Can you take this off? I don't want to touch my finger in there. Either one, if you have something or just a um, paper or whatever. Give it a little bit. Let me move it closer. This one is so bright right now. And let me show it closer. Can you see it closer now? Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. yeah? Really nice. Looks great. Awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a little bit of so one uh, thin coat of condensed blue gel, just really thin coat and float the top coat on and this frame are completely done and I'm gonna move on the designs right around with that. Um, just condensed blue gel, just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot, just to completely so it seal my uh, image into the frame. I'm feeling like I'm doing like a Michael or Joanne's work, like framing stuff. It's beautiful. Do you know what it does? I don't know. We will have our images um, that small, huh? You think? I w I shouldn't. I I would make one. Like this, three of my little kids put in like frame like this. So I do it so then that make sure that all that is stay nice in the frame. Good, and it's make the um, the image it looks like even too. It looks really pretty much even. Okay, can you? And then uh, no white top coat. And I'm gonna using the same techniques. I'm floating on the top. Great. It looks really cool though, everyone. It looks really nice and I see that it's even. It's even though it's under the light. You can see that. If you feel any lopsided or spot you need to fill in, you can't, but I'm gonna key it for 60 seconds. It looks good. Karen said I need that nails I I know right because it looks so cute and stunning hey Jessica Jessica we're doing your nails right now uh, Jennifer is I think it's called the uh, gold frame what's it called gold frame that, that one golden metal frame golden metal frame it's really sting like it really stunning. It's really cool that you can't it's thick enough that you can do it like a three dimension. Like it's really stunning though. I um you can place 
your foil, you can place your flick foil. You can even like place some of this on it to make it like it's um, three dimension in it. Look great here, there's some cool thing, tip and trick. If you want and like you're happy with this, you can place some, you know, the Crocs right there. But I'm gonna share with you something a little bit different. I think I have some, just a little bit, some stuff in there. Okay, so I am going to using um, pre-seasoned glue first before I place more designs on it to make sure this frame are, this frame is completely sealed and protected. You know what? If you're doing this to yourself at home now, you practice, or you're doing it for the clients, it, this process it doesn't take you much long. Um, I love it when I share really detailed, so then I'd rather you got all full tutorial so you can do it so much easier instead of getting, you know, troubleshootings and beautiful. So we seal this, so then make sure all the gap and edge just not gonna be um, catching on the client's hair. So really clear for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, but I am going to do gels on it, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm gonna do fun here in, after that, I'm close the red cap, so then it's gonna keep in protect. And I'm gonna using um, really stunning. We have our traditional pure whites, but this is like because you asked for it, that's for you right here. This guy is so freaking stunning. I can't wait to do more like a pigment and everything else with that. Um, uh, it's okay 30 seconds or the the reason it is I really freaking love it because it have precision brush okay like it have a longer strikes brush uh, you see we're using our precision uh, hold on twin tip brush I said what a precision we didn't have it. and then um, we have to using what we're using a twin tip brush is smaller a shorter but this one had a longer stripes so I'm gonna do give it a long stripe white on white I don't know if we can see yet barely it's okay it's supposed to be I want to keep it for Virgin Mary is white so Can you see? Yeah. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? So it's shiny. So I'm gonna do this. You can either, if you have tin tip brush and you have the gel painting, you are good to go. Now you can see a little bit better. Um, but I just wanna share with you this. So just continue doing it if you want to be a little bit thicker. I'm going to be doing a little bit thicker because later on I am going to apply the chromes on it. I'm gonna probably doing a uh, unicorn chromes. It just like just imagine it you draw it from a center but because we have a picture of uh, the Virgin Mary so we are doing it right on the edges of the frame. Make sure that Instagram can see me. And also, you don't have to do white. You can do any picture, any colors you would prefer, you know? Just uh, some preference. I 
think it looks good in like um, red, blue. It looks good too. You think a background in a black, uh, like a dark blue. You think? One second. Good. So I'm gonna key it in sixty uh, second. Too, too blurry. Give me one second. I'm gonna repeat it one more time before I gear it. Or if you want to, you can flash gear and then repeat it. However, you prefer. And it's really stunning. It's not running, so it's really. Um, pigmented and it's not running for me so I can go back and do one more so I'm really really pleased with this look at this brush Yep, I'm happy with this. Now it's time for gear. All right, gear it for 60 seconds. Oh, again. You can do curl, but I think she said. Closer. There you go, you can see it. Good. All right. You gotta do curl too, right? 30? Mm -hmm. Nope. 60? Uh, 60 so if you are done with this you're completely okay great no 60 second I then I will using a no wipe top coat and go all over with that and then chromes you can't do chrome on the top of this because it's need the shiny surface top coat so yes okay good it's a brush is really good though and it's come with um, it's so stunning you know you see that how I can't wait like for instance I'm gonna test this a little bit silly here in my nails yeah look at that here's like we can do a French and then with the neon pigment oh I can't wait let's do it tomorrow you know Something like that. And this is a longer stripes brush. I'm oh. not And then after that, you key it for 15 seconds. And then you put the pigments on it. That's freaking sunny. If you want to do like a lot with a, a line, this is, this is so freaking awesome. I can't wait to draw the roses with you. And then it's like all different lace. Uh, Besides, we have a stunning foil, chamfer foil, but this is great for a lot of them, like artists um, would like to get some more tool on this. Let me show you closer. It looks so bright on um, on the camera because the background. Let's do this and see how it that look. Can you see now? I think yeah. Okay, it looks so, on my end, it looks so bright though. Um, I am going to using a no white top coat. And this no white top coat, I'm going to apply it on. Uh, make sure you blend it nicely. You don't want to be too thick because you want to show that I'm 
gonna wipe, give it a good swipe. It's cool and detail now, so. Great, so here for 15 seconds on this one, everyone. Like this. Voila. 15 seconds. One second. Just right there. Good. Hold on. I feel like I have too much uh, chocolate. Fifteen seconds, and I have the unicorn comb. You should be seeing this um, shortly too. I might, if you have this applicator um, or the sponge, just work too. But I like this sometimes because it's getting really cool detail. That's so we're gonna do this. More gel painting for this one yes it's gonna be more colors coming in for this um, brush I love this brush please stay tuned for that there's more vibrant colors come in dust it off you can put different chrome colors on it as depends on the base I don't know is this one looks super cute uh, but show us what you are going to do and then we would love to feature you um, Close this one, please. And then now I'm just uh, apply the no wipe top coat again To seal all the chromes I don't want to leave too much flowing on that so I did precision glue for this frame already. So after I clear this, unlike final coats for this, I don't have to worry about anything. This nail should be good to go. I mean, the clients wanna be, if you do this for clients, like on two rings finger, I mean like it doesn't have to be because, you know, Easter gonna be here in a couple of days. And then if any time, the clients can always doing this throughout the years. Uh, but you can do a different designs on it as well. You can do like this. I can't wait. So we can do the frame and you can put your um, seahorse in there. Well, you can put shells, seashells in there and then do with your like kind of a treasures, you know. Okay, here for 60 seconds. Too bright. Hey Jessica. Hi Chiki Mang, how are you? Jessica, do you like that design? Because that is for Thank you with you. Virgin Mary. Uh, is the reason you brush each side the way the strips were going? It could matter if the brush. It's all the way down on all the side. Um, the reason, I mean, oh uh, no, it's not really matter. It's just the reason is I did it's inside. It looks a little bit thinner, and then the outside I make it spread it out a little bit wider. So that's why I'm going in that way. Does that make sense to you? 
Jessica. So I did, is that was like, you mean that it's going straight down here? You can do that too, but I'm using that. So then because I wanna be inside thinner and then outside I wanna be a little bit thick and wider. So that's why I make it a little bit, but however you would like. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can do it the same side and you can do it one on the way shook down and this down right there. Okay, we got this nails. Can I see my other one? The first nails, we did this one. I'll blink out the nails. And the second one, we did this Virgin Mary for Jessica. And let's move on to the fun nails. I freaking love these two nails. It takes a little bit more time detail because I would not want to skip every single detail. So then that way you can really achieve it and then you can enjoy what you're doing. It's not only fun doing it simple, quick, easy, but also can be really, really RC for all of you. And I can't wait to see every single pieces like you can do like this. You can do that without frame. You know how you can make the frame is? You can either make it from the beads uh, right here. You can do it, this take a little bit longer time. What you do is you can place that Virgin Mary in and then you can place every single bead or you can get the um, frame, which is, if you want to do a bigger, I'm sorry, if you're doing a bigger, you can get the, um, I have the chains right there, right here. Like you can do the chains like this. I can't wait to create more for all of you like this. I have a lot, I'm like really hoarders with stuff. You can do a big chains, look at that. Or you can do zit chains. Look at this, this one, one of um, Melissa doing it, the, the chain that you're doing feathers right there. She swipe it sh like that. Maybe we should try and playing with this. And then you can do that and then put the frames instead of that frame. And then you can do this, but you have to form it a little bit. So it takes a little bit more time and more detail, but if you like to be really like playing off from that frame, then that's an option for you, you know? You, it says you can frame her as a heart and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be so cool and stunning. There's so many different ways we can play with. And um, let's move on to the next one. Uh, can you close that one? And also you can do this with this one too. Jesus, you can do this frame for him. You know, however you prefer. Okay. And if you like, like, um... To draw, if you don't, as I say earlier, you can place that little um, star on the side and then it looks cute as well. So let's do some of this fun. Oh, I have one more nails here. Do I have one more nails? Here? Oh, right here. Um, it's so stunning. There's one more. I think it's more going to be updates soon. But this is so freaking stunning. I can't wait to share with you. Like this one so much detail is so much detail I'm like what color should we do today pink or I might have a t t teal right or flowers and do you want to see flowers like this clear flowers hold on i know i'm get overwhelming and then this one it's just freaking stunning as well i can't wait to do a lot of design with this this one is so nice and then we can do a frame, which is the foil uh, surrounds it and make it look so sunny. Super sparkle. Okay, so let's do, um, <coughs> this one is really nice. This one, it has the um, clear back. Or, oh, there are so many of them. So tempting, everyone. That's blue one. This one, you mean? This one. Make, make it fun. And then I'm going to put some uh, crystals on it. You want to do some crystal on it? Yeah. Okay, let's do a chan for voice on. And there's so many of them I would like to do. Here for 30 seconds. 
Okay, you know, if you know it different, I trim the nails a little bit. Like... <laughs> Instagram, come back to me. Come back to shadow. Why? Because it's at. That's why you're trying to run it before. Okay, keep for 30 seconds. Pay attention. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our live tutorial. I'm so sorry I didn't pay attention that it was in, and but I am back right now, so you can come back and enjoy with me. Hi, Foxy. Hey, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Yeah, you all coming back. Hey, Jenny. Thank you so much for tuning back in. This one is so sunny. Okay. Try to get more flowers. Get the piece of paper. Then I'm gonna wrap it. I promise when you're doing this with the real client's nails, it's so much easier. I love the style of it because it means that you stay on. It chanfled everything for me now. All done. Ah, good. Now I am going to using some crystal placement. Look at that, how it chanfled the space. Oh, I took it. I'm not using condensed blue gel. Let me just add just a little bit of crystal, <coughs> crystal on it. And no white top coat. Do some white flowers there. Cherry blossom. I'm gonna do cherry blossom. My yellow. Just that. I don't want to take away from that. Just two, that's all. Too much, you're going to make it busy. You don't have to. I just want to show you another option you can do, you know? I'm going to use a tiny little bead crystal right there. Do you ever have a clients like my clients will put the foil on it and my lovely clients will like that's it Nancy do you want to put the crystal for me and say oh do you want a crystal too 
So I said, yeah, of course. I said, okay. They will not let me do just time for foy. They said, like, um, are you gonna do some crystal arm? So I don't know if any of you related at all. Me and my clients. They either go big or they go home, so they decide they're gonna go big. And I love that. Because they are so beautiful and uh, a lot of cute flowers here. I do not want to take it away. I just want to show you options of like if the clients want some crystals, you can do a bigger crystal, smaller crystal. We're trying to fill in the gaps there. Um, but you absolutely don't necessarily have to. But my clients will not let me go move to the next clients if they're not going to do some crystal on it. At least I have to give them a few. Or else they will not. They will sit in there and waiting until crystal is going to be up lines on. So, really awesome clients. So I hope you all enjoy it like this. We can't wait until we see our clients again. I'm just wipe it off here on the side. And then oh, I like that. Okay. Do just the bits right there. Just here, some option for all of you who has the clients asking for. I also have clients like looking really conservative in the office. Then we do just a little bit crystal on only. It doesn't have to be fancy. You happy with this? Do you want more? I asked because we are doing it together. So. You happy with this and we are gonna gear it. We're going to gear it instead of, great. Just a little bit blings on. Hold on, maybe I should bring this. Hold on, we're gonna do. Here for sixty seconds. Just in case your clients want something like that, you can absolutely, you know, make them happy. Okay. You want to see how this one look? Nuna, do you want to see this? Okay. I'm doing it for you. This one is a this one is a design. Oh, this one you mean? This one from number twenty nine is a newest collection. <laughs> and 
then this one is a design, I think it's designer collection. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me double secure this using a precision glue. And you see with the little ones, the one I put the no wipe top coat on the top, it's really secure, it's good. I'm just really double check and then I just only squeeze, just give a little squeeze out so when I feel the scratchy. I use these doing exam first. And I did good with this one. Touching it, and I'm gonna using a twin tip brush. Going to blend it nicely. So after you cure the clients, or you don't see, is it gonna be really flawless? It doesn't see any lumpy bumpy at all. Just little baby right there. Great. So now you're gonna keep for 60 seconds. This nail gonna be completely done. I'm so excited, everyone, for the next nails. Ah. Ah. Next nails, I do two shape. Oh, uh, oh, because I was bounced on Virgin Mary, so I want to see. Okay, it's okay. It's my... When life gives you lemons, you make what? Lemon cake? No, you make... Um, Lemonade or whatever. Uh, hold on, what is other? Um, not lemon cake. Hold on, one more thing is with lemons. Lemonade? Not lemon lemonade. It's something like a um pastries cake? Not cake. Anyone remember what it is? All of a sudden I forgot. Um if I have Google in front of me or I'll ask him. Not lemonade. Something is like the lemon cake. And not lemon cake. It's something it's like um it's for you to eat? no. It look like when you bake it in like a brownie, but it's in lemon. I feel weird because I, when my other salon in Seattle, I have one of the clients. She did the best lemon. Uh, what is that called? Lemon tart. Not lemon tart. So of course I'm gonna lemon nails. <laughs> <laughs> this is kidding. Okay, I will find out it, and I promise I will let you know what it is. We did, okay, let me recap quick before we move to the next one. We are going to do a, the last nails, but this is the first one we did. It's really blinked out the nails. And we did this for Virgin Mary. For Easter coming. And then this one is for the, um, you know, like have Easter theme. And um, as you see that I trim the nails, it's supposed to be even. Look at how is that not even it. I trim it even, uh, shorter because then it's just for all of you to see more like, okay, if you have a client's have a shorter nails, it's going to look like that. So let's go on to the fourth one. Yeah, it's like a, it's lemon tart, lemon fudge. What? No, hold on. Um, Lemon bar. That's it. I remember now. Lemon bar? <laughs> yes. Yes. So do you, I know that your lady knows. Like I know that um, live arts know how to bake, so she should know like what it is, like lemon bars, right? Yes, lemon bars is exactly, it's really, it's so if um, I like give you lemon, you make lemon bars, that's my favorite thing. Okay, so my last nail here is the clear, it doesn't have to be colors, you can put colors if you want to, I think. Uh, we don't necessarily, but let me put one base of the colors on it, or silver, nude, so then you can be with me. You do blue, right? Uh, yeah, blue. So pink on it, pink, pink on it. No. no purple. I'm going to do this one. You can do clear totally, but I just want to show you if you can do any colors with this. 
doesn't have to be colors you can do one coat because it's gonna be full coverage too you know okay 60 seconds you were searching for it too yes you know what she makes the best I will try in all different places or even like homemade um, I got you know like to try it all different from like homemade and different pastries she's one of my clients she's like probably she's about 70 now she's like 75 and i move away from seattle so she's make the best so in the christmas time she asked what nancy what you want i said can you know can you make me lemon bars as every year it's like she's a, the clients of my for like 15 years 15 years and she always make the lemon bar and she make the best one she make the best one i try so many and just like probably homemade you know so the taste is different it doesn't put any preservative and everything when she baking so it's really tastes fresh and um and that's what's making me awesome and we're talking about lemons and i say that's amazing and i got an opportunity due to like three generation in her family it's amazing um i'm going to doing a Chanfu Foy gels. You don't have to worry about this, it's just one coat. I'm doing it just because you can do any colors. I don't think it's gonna fix anything at all. Okay. Here you go. 30 seconds. And we're gonna do this, guys, like this. Marble without marbling. It's like I feel like a calming, the calmings and feeling blue. That's the two fusioning. Uh, but also, you know how you can do this, achieve this look by doing it your silver underneath and put your chromes like silver chromes underneath, and you do a fusioning on it. So. Like here's a, why I sharing with you doing your foil because with some clients really want fusioning and because in fusioning it take a little bit longer time for you to do with the art and the techniques. So, and of course it's gonna cost a little bit extra for the clients for their design. Mm. So I'm gonna press it on. Oh, it's already come off on me. The chamfer is really nice. And now you have two options. You have two options. You can do the, um, you can do a flick foil, or you can do, um, you can either do a flick foil or you can do a layer of a chamfer foil on it. So, however you would like. So, you can do like a flick foil along with this. Or you can do another channel for voice on this. However you would like. Yeah, just let them know that it's the new one. People That's the new. The new one is called designer. Move forward with marble, yes. yes. Designer set. So it's a designer set. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <coughs> let's stack another uh, foil on the top of foil. So let's do this one. I'm gonna drop one, drop a two drop. Hey, Chi Chang, Chi Chang, Kwai Hong. I'm doing okay. Hang in there. How are you in Canada? No one using a tin tip brush. You can do up two options. You can do this, or you can do is, um, and with this, I will doing it, make it looks like it's hard to see, but I'm gonna show you closer. 
to make a frame or you can do is a uh, elastic uh, frame strip. oh the script I'm sorry I said wait a minute is this frame just draw it and like it doesn't have to be perfect lights because you're gonna make it look It's fun, it's gonna be hard to see, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, I think I got covers good. I think so. It's hard for me to see. Hopefully, you all can see. I'm gonna move it closer so you can see it. All right, you see that I'm gonna lay like that. Great, so key for 30 seconds. And keep in mind, if you can't really see well, like me, I can't see like really so like shiny. And then you're trying to put a clear coat of chanfer foil and you can't see it. So then it's okay. If at first time if we're doing a, a chanfer foil, a gold chanfer foil on, and if you don't see, you can always you can always layer again. So it's not a big deal. I'm gonna using one of this. Oh, you can do rose gold too. Do you know that? Do you want to see rose gold or yellow gold? Which one is gonna like catch your eyes? I have um. Solid. Yeah, too shiny. Oh, too shiny. It's okay. I thought it's more. It's better. Yeah, do this. Do that one. Okay, rose solid gold. Solid or rose? That's shiny. Rose. No. Like yeah, solid. Solid go. Solid go. Hmm? Oh, like yeah, but like the shiny. Play more on the shiny. Okay. Yellow. I got you, Sonia. I got you, Giolo. Okay. Look at that. And it's only stick on wherever I apply my uh, chanfer for gels. They're too sparkle, too shiny. gonna cover to wherever I miss it I'm gonna keep lining it back up and make sure that I got it all covered there you go if you are happy with this you can be completely done and you can put the top coat shiny or oh, I think a shiny is always good but I'm gonna put just a little um, crystal on this one but not too much because I don't want to you want to half matte half matte and half shine no should we do half matte and half shine? It's not really weird, but we can always try it, right? Just so people know what it looks like under matte. Okay. Are you going to put crystal on it or no? I'm going to put crystal on it. Too shy for crystal. It's okay. More is better. Right, ladies? Ladies and gentlemen, if any of you are watching, I will not settle for less. Just kidding. <laughs> But then sometimes I'm goofy and said, okay, we'll put more. Do not afraid of to try more because, you know, guess what? If you don't like it, you can always take it off. Okay, so we'll do half matte, half shine, just so okay. we can see that. Oh, no, we'll no. do another one. We don't, no, no. gonna messing it with this shiny. We'll do a sparkle shiny. 
no wipe top coat so then it's gonna grab my crystals in nice place if you are getting or got your true factor congratulations you did amazing investments for your crystal placement because that will be one of the number one cho um, choice that I'm gonna do because guess what I keep all the crystals stay in nice place and the clients being happy, guess what? They're happy, and next time they know that, oh my God, I thought that's not gonna stay. It's, it's stay on, like they're like this, every single of them. I didn't expect they'll stay on that long, three or four weeks. And they're so happy, and then guess what? They just ask for more crystal next time they see us. So they're really happy, and then we're happy because they're happy with this, and we're so excited and happy too. Oh my goodness, it's too much, everyone. But I don't know how you lady think, but I think it's too, I like, too much to handle with. I need a different color crystal. It's okay. Green yellow? No. I want all AB, just green. Because today is my content to show you two crystal. Haha, I got both of them in one nails. So I finished my homework because that's a two design. I did quite like this a lot with the clients though, which is they want two different um, shape specials. Okay. That's it. That's all they get. That is a lot going on. I love it. I think when the clients get this one done and then they go outside like a daylight is going to be so stunning. It's unlike other uh, marble nails. Too, too much. Too much bling. Too much bling. That looks so good. Lemon bar. I'm going to try to learn how to make that. My middle one, my middle daughter, she's really love baking, cooking. She's only 10, but she's like to bake and she likes to do things. And she's such a perfectionist. Like if she make a mistake, she was so upset with that. And then she said, it's okay. We can do it over again. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. You happy with this? I'm gonna key it for 60 seconds. Yeah, let me see if I can cover it. It's yeah. so. Save it up a bit. There you go. Uh, well, it looks good to me. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's just a color. It's just dark. It's just really bright. It's so bright. There you okay, go. now you can it see it. It looks really, really good. There you go. By the way, let me key it. Oh, it's, it's so okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Thank you, Nuna. You see what, Mike? If it worst case, if you don't like it, you can always 
redoing them. I always asking your clients if they like it, or I place them on right here. I will asking them first. Um, oh my God, where my shape though? Where the shape though? Give me that, please. Thank you. So like I would place them. You don't want to waste here the waste. You don't want to waste all your crystal to place on your clients. You like it before you kill, you can take it off and um, wipe it off with alcohol. But sometimes if you're busy, you don't want to messing up with this. You want to ask the clients like you lay them like that. It's probably take about a second, especially if the client's doing your fifteen twenty dollars per nails. I will place them like that. Well, I can use them to get the sketch of your papers and draw it for her. Uh, and then I will ask if she like it, like the look like this or a different shape. If you don't, I can place replace with a different shape. But if you're happy with this, then let do that. So then that way you make a client's happy, and then plus you don't wasting your crystal, you know. So I am going to do a double secure crystals. And I'm gonna check it first. I feel right here. It feels scratchy right here. So I'm gonna squeeze it in. If you're first time tuning in to Glitz Accessory and such, welcome to our live tutorial. And we are doing is precision glue to double secure all your crystals right here. It's all really nice and is say really awesome. Last so long, but also this will like you seeing that the cracks right there because the depend on the C-curve on the apex of the nail. Sometimes it's everybody knows it's different. I have really flat nails though, so when I build it, it's like, it's really good to have this to fill in all the cracks and the gaps in between the crystals. So therefore, it's not gonna ever catching my hair. Like I'm doing my hair, I have long hair. So when I shampoo my hair, it doesn't catching on it at all. So it's great. I am going to keep it for 60 seconds and this now gonna be it's completely done. I think it's just really stunning. You can do frame go rose go black, I think. Wow, do we have a black? It's colored black now. Um it's pretty or, dark color, but it's not black. Yeah. Oh you know what? Brow can be a good too. I think of brown colors. I'm so excited. So this is a rose color. I like it too. There's more option for you. I can't wait to do this collection with all of you. So much to play with. Any any requests for tomorrow live videos that you want to see? Tomorrow we are going. Can I get the four shape next? Tomorrow we're gonna do a next four shape. We did today a ninja stars. We do cherry blossom and we do sharp lines and perfect drop. We did four shape today. The the reason is we doing it go every single shape. So then that way, um, the, the next one. You have opal. You have crimson. Okay. You have mini and you have diamond shark. Okay, so next ones is gonna be oh tomorrow's gonna be so stunning. You're gonna be colorful. Yep, it's gonna be colorful, and then we're gonna have a lot of different options. We can do designs on designer, and then we can also do um, flowers again for spring theme. And still, because <coughs> it's still Sunday. Yeah, I think you see much from that. Yeah. So, yeah, if you have any requests, let me know because the reason that we are doing the different shape because that we would love to support you because we know a lot of you. Is getting really supporting us and getting a different shapes so then we know that you create so many stunning design we just sharing with you some you know like other designs that you can edit on your collection you know I mean the the um, the ideas for designs and then if questions like you know we'll be here and answer rainbow road pixies on nails rainbow road pixie Yes, uh-huh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, let me take a note in there. Do a transfer for Sasha, okay. We can do that. Um, and then, um, this now already done. Where's this one come from? Okay. 
Look at that. Everyone, we achieved so much today. It's really productive today. You know what? It's kind of balanced though. We have like two nails, really saddles, and two nails like, wow. Really blinked out. Um, Pinky promise, I do not uh, think so. It might take a little bit longer, maybe one or two days for because due to um, the pandemics, but usually all the orders ship it out in within one business day. And it should be coming to like, if you're in UK, it shouldn't be any issue at all. We ship it to international, so. Just however bought it. At LED lamp, job parlors, bling, four, eight, five. Two genes. Two genes. Okay. Um, what about the chain flowers? Chain flowers? Like, you mean feather? Okay. Let me write down all our fun requests. Okay. What are we doing? Sarah is so artistic. Thank you, Foxy. Same to you, sweetie. Hi, Maya. Whitney. Um, let me see. Sarah did good. No, Maya, no worry. You can always be watching them. We did like really stunning um, nails. Uh, blings out completely and we did the second nails is really cool oh hold on not this on the second nails that we did Virgin Mary's with the big frame and we build it it looks like um, hold on let me wipe it up it's like a frame using condensed wool gels and the newest stickers and the frame and new gel painting and chromes and then we did this nails, it really stunning for the foyer, newest foyer. The background I choose is like have a um, teal color, huh? Mm -hmm. And then the last one we did foyer and foyer on foyer and the frames and then crystal placement. So a lot of blings. And, but we're so happy with that. You can re watching them from either Facebook or uh, Instagram. Okay, what else are we doing? I have uh, Chan for Foys, LV Chan for Foy. Virgin Mary's is your favorite, yes. It is stunning, huh? Because, and you can do another one the same like that to Jessica. Like, you can do, like, all ladies can try on the top, her frames on the top, and then you can do that, you know. How do you call that? Like the, halo. The ha halo? The halo? No. Like right here, yeah. there's all the fake. Oh, it's halo. Yeah, you know what? I think if you're seeing it in person, it looks it looks really so much more defined. So much more defined. Maybe in the picture, I will take it. And it's gonna be so much better because it's like so sparkle and shiny with the chromes as well. And then, um, thank you, Sarisa. Uh, a lot of bling to brighten our day. Absolutely. Tomorrow we can do completely a bling with different shapes though. Yeah, what's it? So, and then uh, Whitney, just remember to enter the code and Sarah S S A R A S to receive the free shipping of seventy nine ninety nine. And let me see what others you want to see. Hey, Shakwe, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Okay, so let me see if I can see any of these. If you want to request to see more Fusion Ink, 
or do you want to see the neon or do you want to see um, uh, 40 or do you want to see more a gel painting you know Sarah did a beautiful amazing gel painting um, you are very welcome Foxy uh, let me see chain flowers and then what else ladies you can request uh, what you want to see if you guys would take five take five nails item with you if my new was in you should I don't know five nails I um ideas for Whitney of course I'm gonna take trifecta trifecta and one of the kids you know what five item it means that do you counting the kit too or you counting single item right if you count count it as single item I mean the kit because the kits come with the package so then you can you take the kits because the kids have everything can you count that Jessica are you still there oh single items five items okay okay so here's a single item so I'm gonna take <laughs> one two three four and one colors which is five so I can do crystal placement <laughs> colors condensed glue gels no white top coat precision glue and I have a crystal on this so I'll take four of these items and then the polish if not, then I can always do on the clear nails, you know, and have all different colors of crystal in here. So I got five. So, I don't know. It doesn't come with the file, though. It's hard. It's hard to do which one you're going to pay. <laughs> so, if you, I don't know what you have to choose with you doing your nail stuff. Because, um... Because I don't know, it's hard to choose. Because if you're doing a acrylic, you have to bring so many. Like your buff, your five, your e five, you're already like ten items. <laughs> like just talking about bringing like few beads that you know the kabites that you have to bring with you. Like you have three, four of them. So then that's it. Probably you pick your um, e file and you get nothing else to work with. You have no acrylic and no brush. <laughs> so I'll just pick this. So then, but you know what? If I would take it back because I have to have a lamp. So definitely I'm not gonna take a nail polish. I wanna take a lamp instead of because then that way I still able to doing it. Oh god, it's challenged because I need crystal pickers. How am I gonna pick up the how am I gonna pick up the crystal with the condensed blue gel? Oh you know what? No, I can't do it. Then no away. You know what? I can. If I'm if I'm using this if the no wipe top coat in the kits right I can do take the brush off from this make sure you wipe off all the top coat right and then you're gonna using it and dip into condensed glue gel okay now it's challenge out oh, you make my brains working so hard <laughs> Jessica this is really fun though okay so now it's gonna be a little bit thick density, but well, if you're on islands, what you gonna do? You can't lead like a luxury life. You got all things in your station, right? Pick this, pick, apply on the nail, and wipe off your brush, and pick up your top coat, and put it on. So now, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to see if you can find um, some crystals. To place on I might let's see I might able to like get all of my top coat okay off from this look at what I'm gonna do see I can do this really gentle it's not supposed to but you might be able to pick your crystal from this really gentle but then um hold on 
but then you're gonna ruin your crystal a little bit it's okay if you're on Iceland you don't have to be perfect crystal placement it's still sparkle and shiny there but at least you can pick it up like this right you have no crystal picker we use with fingers or if your nails long enough you can get um, you can get this and touch it with maybe you find some little sticks or a branch from a tree or whatever well it's in silence I don't know any tree like maybe tiny little plant you can get that and pick up your crystal and play some on that's just my imagining <laughs> Because if it five things, how to do that five thing? I need lamb because there's no lamb that doesn't work. So I have condensed rose gel, top coat, precision glue. I don't need another color. I'm gonna put it in my naked nails, no base. And then, um, but I have the L lamb. But you know what? In the Iceland, out of nowhere, where did you gonna find your uh, outlet to plug it in, right? If you're bringing your um, Rechargeable lamb is gonna die in my view. Two days if you're using it for everyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know how is it gonna work so because oh you know what? Maybe if you're standing out in the sun, it might clear some some something something because it can clear under the solar nails uh solar, which is the sun. It might, but your crystal might come off. But you know what? But you have a precision glue, so if you're out there and put your hands out in the sun, it should clear good for maybe um, after, an hour. after an hour. Because if you're in Iceland, no way. You put your hand there and it's gonna clear for you. I would, I would pick the stick or the stick from a, a, a plant, whatever it is there. Maybe the wire plants, I have something. You can pick up your crystal. You know what? You don't have to do all. You can just do one right in the center of the nails right there and make you happy. It's bright your day until you get back to the land, you know? I think. I know, you see, so I can't escape because I don't know what to bring. I was thinking, oh, I got it. But then I said, wait a minute, I can't do any crystal with no lamb. So, five items for nails. Such. If I do, you're taking my brush for acrylic brush. Brush is one, monomer two, one powder clears is three, and five and above. But wait a minute, I still need primer. Okay, so now I have to, I can't do powder with my fingers or my hands. So I have to have a brush. <coughs> I have to, okay, again. Um, monomers, monomer is one, powder two, brush is three. Clear is four, and primer is five. Then I have no five and no buff, so then my nails gonna be messy. <laughs> now it's hard, unless someone will invent the bu uh, the brush and the file, like instead of a handle, like this. Or maybe I should do the brush. Can you count? It's one item. Can you glue? Can I glue this one like this? Can I glue the fire and my brush is cut in one item? So then I can go, I can get by with this. Like one, you know? It's like because you need a brush and you need a file. Like it's okay with no buff. At least I have done with everything but build my nails up and sub ABC like that, you know? Maybe I can get the leaf to use as the, um, the form, the sculpting form. Using one of maybe a, a plan like the wire plans there, so you don't need the form. But you know what? I have to have a file and the brush primer because if you don't have primer, it's gonna lift though. So now difficult. It's so hard. I think maybe I sh maybe someone will invent that and like the brush, like this. One size is a brush, and the other. Bam! You're gonna have the file right there. So you brush and then you file. See, but if you get the twin tip brush, you get two, two in one. Compacts, it's count one items. So maybe this one should be a file, like crystal file, so you can file it, you know? Temporary. 
and but there are no colors. There are no colors. Like even you do poly gel, if you do poly gels, you still need alcohol. So it's still counting too. So you still need poly gels and then alcohol, right? You don't need monomer, but you just need alcohol for that to activate it, what to be able to scoping it smoothly. So if you don't have the the e files, that's okay. We can leave e file behind. We can leave all the beads and everything. We can just I just need to have one like file with me. I have to have one of this. That's it. So that is so. Let me see. Five top coat glue and crystal. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good number. Live fast. Okay. Now polish. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. That's a good. That's a good idea. <laughs> Just, that's absolutely. You don't need lamp. So to, it's a great. The great such as well, live fast is Jessica was asking if you have to escape to Iceland and then one item you need to take. What you gonna take? So, life us every time I was like, I was thinking so many different, like, I said, see, you, I can't leave to Iceland, though. I can only be, like, locked inside, I'm okay. So, she would suggest, just take regular nail polish, the file, top coat, glue, and crystal. Bam. Five things. That's, you get a set. It's just such a great idea. See? You can escape it. Just leave me behind. Because then I hard to pick which one I'm gonna take. I thought, man, I thought that Jessica let me sneak away a little bit by getting one like kits, which is I can take Trifecta, which is four things already. It's like but it counting one. I'll take now polish, lamb and A B C, you know. But it's just such a really a uh, great fun thing. I was really enjoying with you ladies. Can't wait tomorrow. Sarah's going live tomorrow and share with us. Um, yes, so Sarah's uh, sharing that is a giveaway is going on for her to uh, celebrate her achieving 5,000 followers. Thank you for every single of you. Without every single of you, we wouldn't be here. As Sarah is in the team, we wouldn't be here. She wouldn't be here. She's working really hard and dedicated. And um, it's such amazing to have Sarah's sharing with us. And um, any questions regarding to the products or orders, you can always call us at 206-771-5086. There are only some ones will be in office or helping assisting you out. And uh, all the order will shipping within one business day. And it's gonna be we're trying to get it really fast because it's just in case that we delay with the uh, USPS but usually they're not they seem really good to, on time with that but you just want to give people a heads up just in case but I think we've been watching these doing really great and shipping really fast and there's 25% of, of the spring sales going on still right now uh, and 5% total sales will be donated direct to WHO World Health Organization to help fight with coronavirus and um, using code Sarah S is S A R A S so you can save um, the free shipping if you order $79.99 and um, any other questions any requests for the techniques tomorrow we're gonna do another different designs for designs and content and Jessica please don't like ask us what to take next tomorrow don't ask for four items five items I'm very like surviving so maybe tomorrow you can give us six items like six items so then we can escape better then I might bring instead of anything else I might add snacks on it so I can survive on so thank you so much Nuna Thank you so much, ladies, and we, I'm really, really enjoyed tonight. Such a great, nice live tutorial. It's a little bit long, but I love to enjoy it with you, ladies, and uh, to have you, ladies, in sharing all different ideas and the techniques, and we enjoy it together. Please stay safe and take good care of yourself and your family, 
and I would definitely see you tomorrow. And remember to enter the giveaway with Sarah on her page. Just follow us on the original post and do exactly the same what it was for the rule to enter to win. Good luck, everyone. And also, glitz assessment and such going on with the giveaway as well. You can do both of them. You can do both of them at the same time. And then you can both enter both Facebook and Instagram. And there was a big price on the 30,000 followers giveaway. So if you have some time or you haven't get a chance to enter, just don't um, forget to head over to the original post and enter to win and also with Sarah. So don't forget um, to enter to win. And good luck everyone. And I love you ladies so much and I really enjoy it every single night. And I will definitely see you tomorrow night with more tutorials in you can DM us if you want to see something or if you want to learn something else like oil from a liquid and powders or a dipping powders, crystal placements. You see more, you let us know. So we're going to able to uh, fulfill your requests. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. And then Sarah probably going to try to go tomorrow. Sarah, string art tomorrow. Yes, Sarah. Do that. Sarah so artistic. I love and I really enjoy seeing Sarah doing live. So artistic. Um, I still remember the first uh, time that I got to see Sarah work. We was in the hotel in ABS Chicago last year. It's amazing. It's so stunning. Like we was there like 3 o'clock in the morning, huh, Sarah? And it would be like 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's too sad that this year we couldn't go to ABS due to pandemics. But we're definitely going to have a lot of show together that we're going to do. And um, we're so excited for that. We'll stay safe and stay positive. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. Sarah has great design. Yes, Foxy. Sarah is really artistic. Sarah is, um, you know, when you're seeing it, how she's sharing so many details and different ideas on it. Um, she's really artistic. Me, I would love to show like really quick, simple, easy for the salon style. Sarah is like really like style of artistic and European style. I noted that. Um, I learned so much from this lady and she's really, really cool. And she's learning. She doesn't mind to learn. She says, learn so much. Vicky, like Brad, doing a really cool sunning, you know, better and better with design as well. So, love you, ladies. I will definitely see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Just, uh, Nuna, make sure you turn on the notifications on the IG. Go to her page, and then you can able to have an option of turning on the notification. And then once you go live, you're able to, like, they're going to bing. They say that, you know, Sarah is live right now. So then you can see her live video, so you won't miss it. Bye, ladies. I will definitely see you tomorrow. Oh, yes, I will. I promise. You will love it. It's really stunning, though. It's like yellows with chromes, with unicorn chromes, and then crystal placements. So great. I will do that. I will see you tomorrow, ladies. Have a good night.